burning a symbol of Modi's new law may not get these Muslim students very far, but what's the alternative? Throughout the day, outside one of New Delhi's leading universities, the message had been clear. Don't take your protests too far. And the first day of Ramadan, no less, where fast breaking at the Jama Masjid in Old Delhi was not as sweet as it might usually be. Here we have a Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, uh, even Christians as well. I want everyone to be like equally. The Citizenship Amendment Act was passed by Parliament in 2019. As the name suggests, it amends the original act from 1955, which stated that foreign nationals needed to have lived in India for 11 years to be eligible for citizenship. Here's the official document. The new amendment fast-tracks people from Afghanistan, Bangladesh and Pakistan, but only those from certain religious backgrounds. It states any person belonging to Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Parsi or Christian communities shall not be treated as an illegal immigrant. Muslims aren't included. They'll have to follow the old rules. Down south in Kerala, Hundreds of demonstrators from one of the communist parties also marched against the act. One of the state's opposition leaders and former Undersecretary General of the UN refused to mince his words. It is completely morally and constitutionally wrong to bring in religion as a test of citizenship. In the months after the law was passed in 2019, India saw some of its most devastating communal rioting in decades. In the capital city, 53 people died, and those injured lost eyes and limbs. Many say it put Modi's plans on hold. So why now, nearly five years on, has the law been implemented? Here's a clue from India's Home Minister. We told you that we will bring in the CAA. Since independence, the opposition Congress party had promised that refugees coming from Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh who face persecution there would be given citizenship. But, afraid of losing votes, Congress now opposes it. The first signs of electioneering just weeks away from the official start of the campaign. Analysts say the Bharatiya Janata Party is trying to push its Hindu nationalist agenda to shore up votes. Just a couple of months ago, the foundations of the Hindu temple in Ayodhya were seen to undermine India's secular bedrock. The Home Minister is, has previously described some uh, refugees from Bangladesh to be termite and so on. Now, if that lends itself to what has happened in recent times, which is that Muslim refugees have been attacked. A government that recognises persecution in other in other jurisdictions and is willing to provide protection should extend that benefit to all people. For these Hindu refugees from Pakistan, the month of Holi feels brighter than ever. Having not been part of either country, they have a chance to belong in India. But belonging in India seems now to be invite only. <laughs>